Uh, before getting on with things, I, I do want to recognize or say thank you to a few people. Uh, one is Father Graham, and I think John Kush is probably in the back, and then uh, the chair of our trustees, Barb Howard, is here somewhere. Uh, certainly appreciate the leadership. Uh, you know, you, you often hear about an organization that's supportive uh, of the basketball program, and I've seen it firsthand for five years, but the last two weeks, you really live it. You know, the idea that you've got the leadership at the top, that, you know, giving you enough rope to operate, but still kind of a, a clean runway, and that's very much appreciated, so, so thank you very much. Uh, also goes without saying, you know, I'm the one that gets to get up here and, and introduce Travis. Uh, but this was very much a group effort, and I want to recognize the people that were uh, a part of this process as the, the search committee. Brian Hicks, Susan Lipnicki, Tom Iser, Seth Breitenstein, Jeff Poulard, and then from our trustees, Tim Schroeder uh, here in the front. Uh, again, the way I operate, love to get input, uh, like all kinds of opinions and everything in the mix, and uh, that group of people really made a difference in, uh, in the process over the last 10 days or so. And finally, I certainly appreciate the kitchen cabinet of sorts we had. You know, over the last probably 10 days, uh, I've talked to a lot of former players, people in the media that covered college basketball and recruiting, coaches, others. I mean, all that input really helped shape our thinking and, and approach and, and really fine tune the characteristics that we were looking for. So uh, I'm not gonna talk a lot about the process. Uh, I, I think that's been covered to, to some degree uh, so far, but, uh, Pat, you know, a week ago you asked me if I was excited, you know, right here. Uh, not sure that was the word, but probably the best word if I would have been a little quicker. We were prepared and we were absolutely ready for, uh, for this. Um, you always have a list of candidates, I mean, that, that's, that's clear. Uh, but really the active work on this started in January, the last half of the basketball season. And from Tuesday at 10 o'clock, when we found out we were gonna be in search mode, uh, all the way up through Friday, really had a, a deep dive within our industry, getting that feedback, and then activated the interviews Wednesday night. And, uh, and again, I've talked a, a fair amount with that. Huddled with Father Graham on Saturday morning and, and made our decision. There's really two core issues, I, I think, that we were in the middle of. First of all was the candidates, and we had a great group of candidates. And Travis was clearly known, you know, because he spent a decade here, and, and you knew a lot about him. Uh, very detail-oriented, great with relationships. You know, he's responsible a lot for the roster that we've got today, and, and obviously a really uh, impressive offensive mind. Uh, the bottom line, a, a lot was known about Travis going into this. So, actually, Travis, probably the only thing I don't know much about uh, uh, this was fascinating over the last week. I've read a lot of articles, a lot of you probably did. I, I don't know how old you are. <laughs> I, I saw, I think, about four or five different ages, somewhere between 33 and 38. So, uh, uh, so we got a little controversy going on, on how old Travis is, but uh, again, a lot was known, a lot of positives. The second core issue was really evaluating our direction, where are we today? Where is this program? Do you believe in where this program is? And do you wanna stay the course or do you wanna head out in, an, in a new direction? And you have to step back and say, really look where we are. Big East champions, number one seed. You know, we were in the Elite Eight last year. The, the history of this program and what's happened from independent to MCC to Atlantic 10 to Big East each coach has taken it a step higher, and you absolutely have to believe in where we are and, and where we're going. Travis is gonna talk a little bit more about this 2% concept he brought up in the interview process, and that really resonated with us. Um, this is a great program. Tremendous history, a lot of respect for those who have come before us. But there is one final hurdle. Never being to a Final Four, never winning a national cha championship, and I was impressed that Travis wasn't afraid to talk about that. He wasn't afraid to shy away from it uh, and, and understand and talk about the own, his own imprint that he wanted to put on this program. So um, Pat, in wrapping up, I am excited now, absolutely excited about the direction of our program and our new head coach. So with that, let's bring him up here. Our new head coach, Travis Steele.